Well, my grandfather immigrated from Syria in the 20s into New York, and he was a sign painter. And then my father started the same business working with his father. And then he came to California in the 40s, and his business was fine art and antique restoration. Even though he came from a Syrian Arabic background, he was very, very proud American and wanted us kids to be artists and use our hands and create. And I think what they loved the most about America is they had their freedom, they can express themselves, and for me that's what I love to carry on, is to carry on, I can express my freedom, and the American flag is a great way to do it. It's an icon. Most of the people when they see these flags do not believe it's wood. They knock on it, they try to, they pick it up, they look at it, you know, put their fingers on it, and when they'll look at me and say, this is wood? I'm like, yeah, it's wood. I mean, they are, they are, they're blown away. They can't believe it. One thing I can say about the automotive finishes, besides being beautiful, is they're very meticulous, um, very time consuming. It's layer upon layer, sanding between each coat. With my flags, believe it or not, we start off with 80 grit sandpaper on the raw wood. And by the time that's finished, we're all the way up to 5,000 on the clear, ready for polish. So you're talking probably 15 different sandpapers before you get to that final polish, all by hand. So extremely meticulous. Mixing colors, weighing pearlescence, grams of metal flake. It's, I think that's the attraction for me also, is it's not easy. It is not, and it's not something that a lot of people do or can do. The response of these flags have been so overwhelmingly positive. Red, white, and blue is our best seller. We just started a series in all grays and I've also done one in all whites. I'm open to doing any custom colors that a client would want to commission. It's a lot of work, but I love it. The biggest reason I do the work I do and the art I create is an expression of me. And there's days I come in here and I can't create, and then there's other days in here where I just can't stop. It's a huge, I don't know what I would do without it. It's more gratifying to me than I'm sure some of the people that are purchasing it.